The Honourable Member for New Westminster, Burnaby. Selon, selon Amnesty International, c'est en Chine qui ont été exécutés le plus grand nombre de prisonniers en 2015. Selon les Nations Unies, ce pays a régulièrement recours à la torture. Et malgré cela, le gouvernement entend négocier un traité d'extradition avec le gouvernement chinois. Comment est-ce que le gouvernement entend défendre les droits de les personnes lorsqu'il négocie un traité avec la Chine, un pays qui viole les droits de les personnes? Honorable secrétaire parlementaire du ministre des Affaires étrangères. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. Here's the reality, as opposed to conjecture. We have announced a high-level national security and rule of law dialogue as part of comprehensive discussions on expanding our relationship with China. The UN and the UK are conducting the exact same kind of dialogue. Canadian officials have met with their Chinese counterparts, and this allows us to discuss counterterrorism, law enforcement cooperation, consular matters of huge importance to Canadians, and rule of law. Within the rule of law discussions, conversations on the, on the issue of extradition have begun. It was stressed that Canada is governed. It is stressed that Canada has very high standards. Of course, the promotion of protection of human rights. The Honourable Member for New Westminster, Burnaby. Well, sadly, here is the reality and here are the facts. Yesterday, the Chinese Premier unequivocally defended his country's use of the death penalty. He said he couldn't guarantee that police would not mistreat suspects. And he said anyone questioning the merits of an extradition treaty is disparaging China. And he did all this while standing beside a silent Prime Minister of Canada. How can this government claim to be advancing human rights internationally when they're seriously considering a treaty that would go against human rights? Yeah. Secretary of Minister of Foreign Affairs. I'd like to talk about the importance of Canada's engagement with the world. It was a mistake of the former Conservative government to withdraw from countries to isolate Canada just because they disliked a regime. Under the leadership of our Prime Minister and our government, we are present. We're supporting the United Nations in climate change, Syrian refugees, supporting peace operations, and significantly funding humanitarian initiatives. This, by being present, we're making progress on our interests and the universal values in which we believe, like human rights.